Folks, welcome back to Grenada. This is another great episode on my favorite lake, and man, do we put some fish in the boat. We're just getting started. We're taking the full effect of this today. I'm telling you, we're going to go from morning till night, and we get rained on. A lot of things happening during this uh, episode, but at the end of the day, it's an absolute calm day on my favorite lake, and you can't beat that whatsoever. We go after it. We fish hard, and we certainly put a limit in the boat. I hope no, you guys get that enjoy. one on film either. That's a big fish. That's a two pounder every day. That's one. That 16 footer might be your ticket too. I was thinking because, about that earlier. Because I was able to hold this thing on him with a 13. If you had 16, you'd been able to mm -hmm. just sit it there. That's a good fish. <laughs> good fish, man. That's a welcome back to Grenada, folks. Scott's putting his first keeper fish of the of the day on in the boat, and uh, solid start to the day. We're bright and early. We got storms all around us. Check it out, and. Uh, be one of those days you don't get many days like this on Grenada where there's extremely low winds we're fishing out dead in the center in red grass area and we're heading shallow that's what our plan is and uh, we're just searching for these fish and they're roughly around one to two feet down water temperature right now is 53 degrees if you're curious uh, it truly doesn't get any better on Grenada overcast all day uh, and I think top wind is seven miles an hour and that's not going to occur till later in the day we got two fish in the boat um we're gonna take you along for the ride enjoy it thanks for joining us please subscribe here we go nice. that was cool <laughs> <laughs> one giving up on him Good fish. Very nice. Scott set that one up himself. That's a good size fish, boy. <laughs> you want to measure that one? Can't beat Grenada, baby. Can't beat Grenada. So, guys, just to give you a reference, we'll see what that weighs. Got the hog net in the in the boat right there, saving the day, and. Uh, we're gonna get one measurement on this guy. Just out of curiosity, I'm gonna say 160, 170. So it's good. Yep, about 167. Good fish though. That's a whole hum fish on the on Grenada. Yeah, it lowered. That's crazy. Yep. <laughs> oh man, it doesn't get much better than this, folks. Right there. There you go. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a big fish. I got it. Ah, that's a two pounder. <laughs> <laughs> it took a minute to get him to commit. Oh my gosh, I ain't hurt the wrist, is it? Oh my gosh, look at that. Two pounds, straight up two pounds. Straight up two pounds is what it weighs. That looks like it. <laughs> I know. Take every bit of a five gallon bucket of it. <laughs> Oh, folks, this is a great time. We got hair jigs, plastic. I don't know if that's the secret in, or the sauce, but I can tell you that. That's my, uh, 
Try the second two pounder today. Shots up there working hard. Look at the landscape though. Look at the landscape. It's just beautiful. We got a major fog rollover like over the hills. Um, this place is bound to be covered in fog here at some point, but absolutely beautiful. <laughs> mm. so one thing that we have definitely not shown you is the amount of rain that we actually fished in we were in whiteout conditions for probably almost an hour where it would be white out then you would go to a sprinkle and it go back to a white out i mean we got absolutely drenched and unfortunately we didn't think about bringing out this umbrella until this point so at this point we're already soaked um, but we got smart, got the umbrella out, so now we're staying kind of dry when the rain's falling, and eventually it stops, but I'm not kidding you. If I didn't have dry clothes in my boat to be able to change into, it would have been a long day. Now, the temperatures definitely got up on us. Um, we were sitting roughly around 80 degrees, so uh, cold wasn't a factor and wind wasn't a factor, so fishing in the rain's not a bad deal. So, but I'm just show, telling you guys, the amount of rain that my boat took on uh, during this about an hour and a half stretch was amazing, but we still got it done even during it. It was a lot of fun. Slow, slow. You are an expert, Slow. We've hit that little period of the day, so we're making a move to the north arm. Uh, this arm, we definitely found a lot of fish. Uh, just couldn't couldn't get a lot of them to bite, so no matter what we were throwing at them. So we're just going to change our our location and see if that changes the uh, the action of the fish. Another good fish, guys. Another good fish. Using the optimized sniping braid on all the rods this week, I reloaded them up. Check out snipingbraid.com for the best darn smoothest, smallest diameter braid out there. They get much better, folks. All right, guys, I was gonna show you around the house real quick um, that we're staying at and you've got the information for a place. Nice living room, dining room, Perfect kitchen. Again, this is all about basically 10 minutes from the landing, but two bathrooms, three bedrooms. Here's one of the bedrooms. The other ones have kings and queens. And like I said, two bathrooms, pretty nice. Certainly a good option to stay when you're here in Grenada. Now we just got back, just gonna Scott's laying down the fish right now for a nice photograph. And uh, about half of them. About half of them, <laughs> yeah. So it was a great day. I hope the footage was okay. We had some major, major uh, rain that occurred. A major rain that occurred that, I mean, it was a downpour, wide out, and it occurred for probably about, I'm gonna say it took about an hour and a half of just absolute raining, so couldn't film the entire day, but we had a great time. We caught some big fish. Big fish, 210, a couple of those, maybe a, maybe more than a couple of them, but those guys right there, those three there, that one up there is probably our biggest fish, and uh, you really can't go wrong. Thanks for watching. Another episode, Grenada Lake, coming up next.